you around my uh, new three axis brushless gimbal. So um, it's based on a cheap two axis carbon fibre brushless gimbal. Um, and then I've added another uh, motor, which is uh, an, uh, the one that comes with the RC timer uh, kit for the two axis one. It's a 2212 motor. Um, uh, and then I've, I've got it set so that I can adjust the yaw, adjust the pitch, and it's set for follow you mode. So if you see if I, if I turn it this way, it just smooths out the motion. And that's all the other, that's all the third axis is doing. It's just um, it's just stopping the little jitters. So there's a dead zone here, about five degrees, where it won't adjust it, and it just keeps your um, all your uh, videos so much more stable. So let's take it for a flight. Okay, narrow mode. It's really unforgiving, and. Um, it was still showing a little bit of jitter, um, so I've stabilised it. <coughs> now the jitter seems to not be coming from my gimbal, um, but something else. But it's not um, jello, because you can see the stabilisation is taking it out. So there's a little bit of jitter somewhere, and rather than post it with the jitter, I've taken it off. But um, I taped the third axis um, and switched it off, and I was still getting a jitter. So I'm showing you it um, stabilised. And here I'm showing it in wide mode, um, so there's no stabilisation being put in here at all in FCP, it's just as it came out of the camera. The wide mode is wide enough that you really can't see the jitter. You can see how small the jitter is because it's, it's not even visible here, uh, but uh, yeah, so we go.